Greetings and welcome to Space Week for Monday, November 4th, 2019. Last Thursday on Halloween, the moon and Jupiter appeared close to each other in the evening sky. My sky was filled with clouds, but here's a photo taken by our very own moderator from Poland, Zilki. On Friday, the Japanese cargo spacecraft HTV-8 Kuonotori was released from the ISS after having spent almost five weeks at the station. It was loaded with trash and old nickel-hydrogen space station batteries, each of which is about half as big as a refrigerator. The old batteries had been replaced with new lithium-ion batteries during a series of spacewalks in October. Being an expendable craft, HTV-8 was deorbited and burned up over the Pacific Ocean. Last week, I mentioned that SpaceX might be doing the first flight test of their Starship orbital prototype this weekend. That didn't happen, and the test date was pushed out. More on that in a bit. On Saturday, a Northrop Grumman Antares rocket had a very nominal launch of a Cygnus cargo craft to the ISS. Engine performance nominal, attitude nominal, core pressure nominal, power nominal, engine performance nominal, power is nominal, 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 main engine cutoff, nominal. Cygnus was scheduled to arrive at the space station during the wee hours of Monday, November 24th, today. It will have arrived already by the time this video premieres. Also this morning, November 4th, the Boeing Starliner crew module was scheduled for a pad abort test at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. Their launch window was from 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. GMT, a short time after the premiere of this video. Hopefully everything went well. Looking ahead to the coming week, there are a couple of SpaceX launches and an astronomical event. There's a possible Starship test launch on Thursday, November 7th, sometime between 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. GMT. This should be a suborbital test with three Raptor engines, straight up to an altitude of 20 kilometers, 66,000 feet, or 12.4 miles, and straight back down to the landing pad. Recall that their 150-meter Starhopper test used just one Raptor engine. If they don't launch on the 7th, their backup dates are the 8th and the 12th. Whenever it launches, look for the live stream here on Raw Space. It's important to note that all launch schedules are subject to change at any time, even right up to the moment of launch. On Monday, November 11th, before next week's Space Week video premieres, Mercury will begin to pass in front of the Sun from our perspective. This will only happen 14 times this century. The entire transit will take about five and a half hours, from 7.36 a.m. Eastern Time, 12.36 p.m. GMT, to 1.04 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.04 p.m. GMT. Mercury will appear as a small dot in front of the Sun. You'll only be able to see it through a good telescope and a proper solar filter. It's very important that you never look at the Sun directly. Always use a solar filter, or you'll damage your retinas. I, Raw Space, will try to stream the transit from my backyard with my own equipment. That will depend on the weather and if my gear wants to cooperate. Stay tuned. Also next Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. GMT, SpaceX plans to launch their Starlink-1 mission, bringing their second batch of 60 Starlink internet satellites into low Earth orbit. This will bring the current number of satellites in the Starlink constellation to 117, since three satellites from the previous launch in May became non-operational and will deorbit if they haven't already. While 117 sounds like a lot, it's a drop in the bucket of their planned 12,000 Starlink satellites, or 42,000, if their request for authorization to launch an additional 30,000 Starlink satellites is approved by the UN's ITC and the US FCC. We can expect to see many more Starlink launches in the coming months and years. Once Starship and Super Heavy are operational, SpaceX will be able to deploy huge swarms of Starlink satellites with each launch. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and activate notifications if you don't want to miss anything. Discord, merch store, and Patreon links are all in the video description. See you next time.